Hello my viewers, it's me and today I'm going to talk to you about something new that has appeared on the Kickstarter page. It's called Totem. And as you can see, it's a new virtual reality headset. It's uh, the alternative of the Oculus Rift and uh, it's, the, it's a virtual reality headset. It's uh, in a lot of ways similar to Oculus Rift, but there, I, there is something that is very, very interesting. And it's the fact that you can plug anything with... You can plug this to any device that uses HDMI. So this means you can plug it with any device. It's amazing. You can plug this with your PlayStation 4, your PlayStation 3, your computer, your smartphone, or... I don't know a lot of things. It's an amazing thing. I will put you this. This is a, a chart, a comparison chart between Oculus, DK2, Morpheus and the Totem. And you can see that uh, it's very similar in between the Oculus. The field of view is the same and they weigh mm, the same, so, so, so low. And yes, the interesting thing is that you can use this with almost any device possible that accepts HDMI, so you can use it with a lot of things. It's um, in the, the Kickstarter page, so if you want to pledge it, you can do it. And it's... they want to achieve three... $350,000, I think. Yes, no? And... Yes, it's an amazing thing. It will be 1080p and uh, those are the team that they are doing this and well, those are the first prototypes and well, it's a new virtual reality headset. If you want to, to know more about it, I will put the link in the description below and you will find it. And yes, tell me what you think in the comments below because I think it's quite interesting. We only have right now Oculus. Uh, and if for people who want to find an alternative version, you can go and search this. It's quite interesting. I, I really don't know what more to say. Um, yes, I don't know how it looks like uh, with this in, in your head. Maybe it's better than Oculus, maybe it's worse. Because we don't know what kind kind of device they are using. Are they using a low per persistence screen like they are using with DK2? We don't know, but it looks very good. And it, I think it's, it can be quite nice. But yes, I read somewhere uh, that it was shipping, it will be shipping at only a hundred bucks. But I don't really think this will happen because now I'm searching this on all over the the place of here and I can't find it anywhere. So I think there was the the one who wrote it that said, "Oh, let's put this and people will pledge it more." But I don't think so. They said um, if you want to buy it. Um, a development, a de develop, oh fuck, a development kit, as uh, it's called with Oculus, a development version, it will cost around $550, so it's very expensive. But, well, we have to, to see what happens, and yes, you can read all this in the link in the description below. And now just a reminder, as you know, Next week I will start going to university, and so this will mean uh, I won't have a lot of time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite horrible. The thing is that the university is quite far away from my home. That is where I have my computer, right here. And so this will mean I, I will need to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to catch the bus at 7. That will take me to the university, and I will arrive there at 7.45, and I will need to go to the class at 8.30. Yes. <laughs> this is the thing. It's quite... I will... I won't be able to have enough time. Even now, uploading video is quite hard. Now I'm uploading a video. Look at what 
how much time do I need? 354 minutes. Seriously. For a 19 minutes video. It's horrible. It's a... <laughs> My... I need... Optic fiber or fiber, I don't know how do you call this in English, but the, the, the kind of internet that you you plug and you go at 100 megawatts per second, they are putting this in my town right now, but I don't know how, <laughs> when will they finish and when will, when will this be available, but well, yes, so I will go to university and I won't, won't have a lot of time to simply edit my videos. Uh, recording is not a problem because recording is 10 minutes and yes, you have it is recorded. But uh, editing a video, <laughs> it's very, very time demanding. I maybe I spend around two hours editing a video. I uh, I try to make it perfect. I want to this to look perfect. And yes, I want I is what I'm doing. So yes. <laughs> editing videos, maybe I won't be able to de edit them a lot. I will only put this the video right there, convert them so it waits less. And yes, that's the thing. So yes, thank you very much for watching and see you soon, people.